Hello MacWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior 5 Mercenaries, where we are trying to find the last missing pieces of our assault mags. We have some very good parts already when we take a look at our sal salvage assembly. You can see we have a bunch of Atlas parts, but they don't match yet. We need another one of the D variant, two more of the K variant. Uh, we have a bunch of Black Knights that we can build. The Dire Wolves are coming together, as well as the Marauder 2Cs here. Uh, we also have four out of six stone rhino parts. Guys, I think we just need to go to an industrial hub. We need to repair our mechs. And then I think we're going to take that duel here against Steiner. We might fight something interesting there. So let's go ahead, set course. Um, I'm going to the industrial hub here because uh, we have a bunch of repairs to do. And I don't want to do them in a conflict zone. Because it takes away a lot of money and time. So here I think I'll just hit the A button to repair everything. Um, and you know what? While we are here, we can also take a look at the market, right? Small lasers. ER Small Lasers Clan. They are actually good. Mm, I think I want to put them in a mech or two. Clan Light Tag. It only has a range of about 500 meters. But it is good. I'll get one. Only half a ton as well for 85% missile spread. It's great. Uh, LRM 15 Clan. I'll take that thing. It's a very good one. MRM-30, machine gun, uh, spinal mount heavy Gauss rifle, uh-huh, streak LRM-20 clan. It's very heavy, but it's... is it good? Is it alright? I've not really played around with streaks so much, and I'm not a fan of streak SRMs because they are so random in their, in their damage pattern. They will lock onto individual components of the enemy, and sometimes you just want to focus down a single component and not have the each missile decide where to go. So, we are not taking those. We have a clan mask. Tier 5. It's for the big boys. I'll take it. Uh, we got an active probe. I love it. Advanced PPC. Uh, we don't really have a PPC boat yet. Stick and peel armor. Gives us a bit more armor as well as a slight damage repair. Very minimal, but it's very light. If you have uh, slots open, that's a very good item. It is only 0.1 ton. Basically, what the armor costs that it brings so you can just lower your base armor and it adds four on top of it again so if you have the slots peel and stick would be very very nice but i don't think i'm gonna use it right now what about modular armor i've never really played around with modular armor we could really crank up our armor points with that um takes a slot right it's like only one slot yeah and then in that component that we put it in we have the ability to go higher on armor. That might be something interesting for like melee mechs or stuff that have obvious weak spots like the massive side torsos of a Hellbringer for example. Or again, if you want to go melee then you want to protect your arms because that's your main source of damage. It could be good in later builds, but right now I don't think I'm gonna pick uh, heat management support. Yes, I love that. Another advanced UAV could be handy later. And we are still looking for some specific ammunition, so we quickly go through that. Clan Gauss ammo is fine, Gauss half is fine. Heavy Gauss ammo double. I'm not gonna buy three bins of that. Heavy rifle, hyper velocity auto cannon. I've not, not really played around with that. Let's try. LP20 half. LB2 double. Why not? LRM Artemis. I'm still looking for ASRMs. Rack 2 double bin. Sure, I'm gonna buy two of them. We might build a Rack 2 build, although the fives are usually better. Um, cool. So there's that. Uh, I thought I think I also need to take a look at the barracks because some of these people might have negative quirks that we want to get rid of. So rehabilitation. Let's go. You as well. Poor timing. Oh yeah. Get that out of the way. So two people are on training. The thing is, we are still. We're still lacking pilots. We should really keep our heads on a swivel for good ones. This guy is incredible. He has a 54 current set of skills already and a cap of 60. I need to hire this guy. Let's go. Okay, and now we can actually see his quirks. Oh my god. He's really good with shielding and he's really good with energy. Holy macaroni. That guy is a boss. Yeah. I love him. Cool. Another tier 60 pilot plus something. I mean, technically he's 70 right now. Okay. Man, how far can we go with all of this shielding? 
Uh, I mean, he cannot get anything here. Yeah, we could go for self-improvement. Self 78 days, though. Um, yeah, I guess I'll do it. Ronan here. So he has now an open slot that we can fill with something later. I think what he needs is, like, heat management, evasion, and then just energy. Wow. I think I want to make him as defensive as possible and then just make him our PPC carrier later. Good pilot. Very good pilot. All right. So, the thing that I want... I think I want to play the 8v8 duel against Diner here so we can potentially find uh, some Assault Max. I was thinking about the Black Knight. Do we want to change anything here? It's not really a good build yet. We, we, need, to, we need to optimize it. And honestly, I'm not thinking that these medium pulse lasers are gonna kick butt as much as I want it because it still struggles with mobility. Uh, I think there are still some key items that we don't have yet that will come. So let's go ahead and play the first contract in a mega city against the federated commonwealth. I'll take all the salvage because I'm expecting... Eh, I want more! Okay, I'm expecting a lot of goodies. And... Phew. I think these guys are our most impactful mechs that we have right now. So I think this is gonna be it. 39 days to start. I think I have the time. Sure, why not? Um... Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're still training. That is the time, huh? I'll take Bulwark then. Yeah. Everybody else is fine. Here we go. 12 days. Alright guys, first mission of the day. I'm on my archer trying to blast enemies in close quarter combat. And then we have some fire support coming from the other guys from range. Let's get into it. And then this is an 8v8 duel, keep in mind. That means that we also have some friends helping us out. So I really hope that we can use them as a meat shield. But, at the same time, enemies also have more. So we shouldn't run in blindly. That's the thing. If I just go in head first, it's not gonna end well. Okay. Oh! Oh, that's so cool! An arena exists now! That's like a... This is a Solaris arena! Beneath a dome! And, and an artificial mega city around it! Oh, that's so cool! Also, I don't want to get flattened by that. Oh, let's get out of here. That is so cool, man. I love it. Okay, we got a crab, we got a timber, a hellbringer, and a oh, thunderbolt. That's alright. Let's move to the left side around the hill, see what we can find. I think the enemies have spawned a bit more to the right. But I think I want to use cover as much as possible to close the distance. Like here is where they are, right? Somebody's shooting? Okay, so you're trying to shoot something. Oh, there they are. What was that? That was a... That was a beam of fire directed at me. There's a guy. Ah, uh, I hate it. Do we go in anyway? Yeah, we probably should. I mean, we are still in a kind of low ground situation. The terrain is relatively bumpy. That's a stone rhino. Oh god. Instant first kill. Here we go. I need to close. Oh god, enemies in our flanks as well. But yeah, we gotta try. Oh. I... While I'm moving, I can at the very least deal some damage to you, Mr. Hellbringer. Oh, our oh, Rhine is getting smashed. Hey, take me. Very good. Where's the Rhino? There's the Rhino. Oh, the Orion. Okay, we got that guy. Uh-huh. Yeah, just go for me. I really hope this is just armor damage. Uh, Centurion, easy target, here we go. Low hanging fruit, getting hot, which is fine. There's a timber wolf on the sidelines, but I think the cataphract is the easier target. It also comes with the gals that I want to take off the battlefield. Blah. Brawling like a boss, another cat, another fract. Okay. Almost got him. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting out of here alive, but I don't know what it'll cost. I should have negotiated for more uh, damage repairs. 
Celeste. It's the last enemy. Okay, we got it. Ammo explosion detected. Are we done? Oh, we lost the leg. No! That didn't count. Oh, if Rihanna was there a little bit quicker. Oh, ammo explosion detected. That was a little bit too much. Uh, let's see. Maybe it's not that bad. We, we're gonna check this out. Oh, God. We have so many ERPPCs already. I think I'm gonna skip them. Hellbringer parts. ELR is fantastic. Stone Rhino is fantastic. Again, one part! I'm missing one. <sighs> Guess an LRM20 would be nice as well. All the ELR here. Hmm. Clan active probes are also pretty good. Targeting computer. Oh, medium lasers, maybe. Plan ECM is good. Machine gun times two. It's not great, but it is a double machine gun. I'll take it. Let's go. And... <gasps> Oh, we were so lucky. We were so damn lucky. The mech is still there. And uh, it did not explode in the end. Holy crap -aroni. That was... At the very last second, we evac'd. Uh, the Orion also got hit hard. What did you lose, buddy? Artemis ammo? Okay, we're good. We're perfectly fine. Nothing bad happened here. Let's go back to an industrial hub and repair. <laughs> okay, that was the first mission. That was a tough one. That was definitely a tough one. So, Battle Max. Let's take a look at Mr. Orion. Oh, he attracted so much fire there. Ah. Now we are lacking ammo. We only have half tons now. Anything on the market? Only half tons. Hmm. It's a bit low on ammo. We're one ton under. But it's the best I can do right now. I could max the armor, but eventually I want to just get that to a full ton again. Okay, I'll do it like this. Bam. Yeah, that hurt. Uh, also, Archer. What did we lose here? A bunch of half pins. Oh no, the speedy legs. No. That's a problem. Now we are not that fast anymore. But I guess it's okay. We'll find another one. Yeah, there's nothing here. Uh, any arm actuators? There is a cooling jacket. My cooling jacket. Spiked fist. Yeah, I'll... I will not do that. Again, it's just some repair stuff that we can use to get into the fight again. Slightly under our optimal um, efficiency. Good. But, we got another stone rhino part. We have five out of six. One more, and we have the rhino. And for that... Uh, where do we go? We probably want to play these tighter missions. It's another duel. It's against the independence for the clans. You know, I think I want to take that. Um, because these guys might spawn another stone rhino. And if that's the case, then we've got it. We're gonna build it. And we're gonna have some fun playing with a 100 ton assault mech. So, uh, let's go to contracts right away. They won't pay out that much. We got the four picks. Five even. Should be good enough. Uh, sure. Against the independents. We get 22 picks. So Stone Rhino was, what, 14? That means we can take one at the very least. And I'm already fine with that. Uh, anyway. Do we want to leave the Orion where it is? It took so much damage last time. Let's take the Marauder. Seems better, but I think I also want to keep the archer around. Squad seems to be good. Is it time to take the Black Knight out for a spin? Another frontliner? I don't think so. I think this is the best we can. Let's do it. Ooh. Alright. Ready up? Mission number two coming up right now. There's also an argument for another multi-mission. We have enough mechs and multi-missions give you extra payout. And that extra payout could go into massive amounts of salvage in the end. 
Uh, it's just not, you know, not looking for quality and quick missions one after another to just get the stuff that you want, uh, but playing these longer missions and then just taking everything because you got so many salvage rights then. But here we actually meet quality. You could see the weapons that we faced there were tier 4, all of them. And that's the scary part about it. Okay. We are alone. Wrong, no, we're not alone. We got the Wa Waco Rangers, right? Yeah. Okay. Come at me, bros. Open fire. Yeah, I'm gonna return fire. Uh, thank you, Mr. Dropship. Thanks for hitting me. I'm gonna self-repair that real quick. Okay, we're gonna go as close as possible. We wanna be the brawlers here. Thunder gone. Another T-Bolt. Okay, we have a Battlemaster. Oh, they're going for my timber directly. Ooh, come on. Got that guy. And we got that guy. So we have a duel within a duel. The good news is that we will get extra payout. So we get a little bit of extra money because of that. And more intel. That is the intel bar if you have not checked it out yet. Uh, yeah. So that's gonna be good. And now we're gonna focus on whatever is coming from the far front. Let's see. I did not see the dropship coming down because I was too distracted with the mercenaries. Uh, where would they be? Probably just straight ahead, but the good news is we have a lot of cover to work with and that means that we can just close in and chill. Alright, I'll take that. Thank you. That's close enough. Ready to start it's always weird when that's in a duel because most of the time you don't have the time to pick these up. Light Rifle Tier 4. You really want me to go for rifles? I have a bunch of comments out there saying, You should really check out the rifles! They're amazing! They headshot up monsters! Uh, I don't know. They have such a low fire rate. It means you gotta aim and not just spit bullets like crazy. Oh, here they are. A charger. It's a broading charger. Hitting me a bunch. I am out of here. I'm getting hit in the face multiple times. Friends are going in. I can do the same thing to you. Oh god. My face! My beautiful face. Did we get the Night Star already? Oh, here's the Black Knight once more. He dropped. Oh, again? This is not cool, man. How are they so accurate? Ah! Ah! Get out of my face! Oh my god! That black knight. Alright, we'll take that guy now. It's just a face that exploded. Nothing too crazy. Get that knight out of my face. Another one down there. Something is <laughs> completely broken on the left. Okay. All right, we got that guy. Holy crap. Poor Archer. Huh. He's getting clobbered today. He's gonna take your face then. What a mess. Oh, this is the second time our Archer is technically down. Oh, and uh, this was Kelpie. Kelpie? No. He's gone. We need to find him. There's probably a huge ransom against uh or for that guy and we probably have to pay like four million sea bills to get that ow yeah if you get anything you will be the first to know Ugh. i want that guy back definitely so light rifle seven million worth it mm. i say still yes but it hurts so we got an ultra auto cannon 20 not bad not bad Battlemaster, Nightstar. We have no parts of this specific guy. Oh, he had two Ultra 20 Burst. Oh, AC 20 Burst. Interesting. The 9S. Got the Charger. The Black Knight. Man, that guy was hitting us like a truck. Black Knight 6, Thunderbolt. AMS, large laser, medium pulses. They are very good. 
could find their way into our Black Knight, honestly. I want to make it like a full medium pulse boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we have seven hard points. So we could just take all of these and be fine. But then there's an Ultra Auto Cannon 20. And there's also a Night Star. Mm. I love Night Stars, they're beautiful. But here's the thing. I don't think it's gonna help us because we have zero parts of this guy and we cannot build. We cannot start to build with this, so I'm not gonna take it. I also will not take the Black Knight, question mark. If I take one, then we could start to build. You know what? I'll take these medium pulses. All of them. Just all of them. Now we have eight left. It's a very good AMS. I think I want AMS on everybody. Large lasers would be fine. There's a heat bank. I'll take the heat bank. Sure. And then six. What are we doing with six? Double heat sink kit? For money? Nah, we'll take the large lasers. Now we can also do something with that. Okay, do okay. Click that button. So, we lost the head component. God, what did we lose there? There was good stuff in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Proto heatsink. Oh, it hurts. Uh, evasion support, advanced missile computer, and then a sensor improved. Yes, this hurts a lot. They found my only weak point. Damn it. Shake my fist in your general direction. Fine. The archer is, is not having a good time today. It takes a long time to do. And then even longer if I do it in a conflict zone, so Archer is gonna stay out of the fight for a while. Okay, let, let me just quickly go ahead and repair the other guys. We can do it here in a conflict zone, they didn't really take that much damage. Um, actually, what about you, buddy? It's just structural and armor damage, but still, it is a lot of time and money investment. We're gonna take the Bravo Squad out. So, where do we go? We can play Battlefield. Sure, I like that. Let's go. Uh, go contract, go pick a fight against the independents, take all the salvage. Still looking for the my assault max. Is under heavy weather warning. Okay. It's going to affect visibility and sensors. Let's go with him. I don't think, I don't think that our Black Knight is ready to fight yet. I'm gonna take the Zeus and you will take uh, the, either the, the T-Bolt or I think the Orion is still okay. Oh, we want to probably sell the Crusader, by the way. Mm, let's get the Hellbringer Prime in here. Seems all right. So we have three ER large lasers on our Zeus, and that's pretty good with somebody who is really good with energy weapons, right? We'll take him and hopefully have a good time. So battlefield means waves of enemies coming at us. I don't think that we have the most burst damage in our lands. That's true. So the fights are going to be a little prolonged. Hmm. I think directing our fire is key here. Our Zeus is triple ER large, one LB10, one LRM10. The Hellbringer is LRM20, LB10, and five medium lasers, ER, I think. Um, the Marauder is Hyper Assault Gauss Rifle, ER large lasers. It's long range, slow damage. Not sure if that's good. But we'll check it out. Yeah, we also have the Jäger mech, which probably I should pilot, huh? Oh, you again! Come at me, bro. <laughs> Come at me. Okay, switching to solid slugs. Okay. I know, we are punching way above our weight here. But you, you gotta get out of your comfort zone in order to get goodies, right? Oh, he's almost headshot. Good. And it seems like the, the Waco Rangers... They have a lot of T-Bowls. Yeah, they just drop Thunderbolts. They really seem to like them. Come on. Very good. We got all of them. Easy. <laughs> Bring something bigger next time. 
So, we got that going. Now we are getting into the actual mission. Now, I wonder, if, is there some kind of mechanic that when you have enough encounters with a hostile mercenary unit, they will eventually just side with you because they realize that they cannot kill you? Okay. Now, there might be Igors coming. Blackjack. Am I a joke to you? You bring blackjacks to a gunfight? Yeah, okay, so the structure stays. I think... Oh yeah, there we go. I, I think I want them to come to me more than anything else. Laser beams. And arm, come on, take it down. Got him. Yeah, on the blackjack next. This guy has a lot of missiles. It's not about the pinpoint damage, it's about the raw armor repair time that we have here. Beautiful. That was easy. That PPC, it's nasty. But hey, that was the first wave. We got 3 out of 20 done. And we are still in good shape. Okay. Panzer time. Scorpion, light tank, autocannon 5. What else is there? Dropship and two more tanks. Does that help? The sandstorm is making visibility a little bit awkward here. Yeah. The Black Knight comes with a lot of large lasers. Oh my god. And it has double AMS. It's one of the better variants, actually. But I do like that we have the range advantage. In general. Stop moving, that guy, huh? Wait, where is he? Alright. Got him almost crit. That's the end of that guy. Hellbringer. Let's go. Such a slow DPS fight. Is he gonna come around, or is he gonna turn around? Turn around. Got him. So, tank, scorpion. Yeah, let's take that guy. I mean, he's right around the corner. Another one. Blammo! And this guy. Good! We are making a very good progress. But I wonder if we can hit the scorpion in the back with our missiles, which is uh, seemingly true. Ah. There come the flyers. Ah, so close. Where's he at? Couldn't see him. Got him, finally. Take that guy. Don't even get him. Got that. Got that. Okay. So, who's closing in there? It's another Black Jack. And we also got a Crusader on the flank. Good. Our UAV is so good. We should probably get more of these. It's very, very helpful. Almost got him. Come on, come out to play. Uh-huh. I want him to engage so I can kill him before the next wave comes. I don't want to have that guy in my flank. Especially not with his flamers and shenanigans. Uh, okay. That's smart. That's very smart what he's doing. So we have to really focus on these two. Yeah, on these dudes. Classic Marauder. Warhammer. Uh. People. Take him down. One down. Good. Flyer. Ah, I cannot aim higher than that. That's bad. I was wasted. Good. Light mag. Little Flocus. Got him. Uh, here's the Crusader now. I'm gonna try to go for headshots. Cannot. Ooh. Come on, friends. Let's stay on the main targets, which is uh, definitely the Marauder and then the Warhammer. This guy has so much damage output. Got him. 17. I want that classic Marauder. Can I have it? 
Hmm, maybe it's good to go for the legs. I cannot ignore him. We have to take the Crusader. I guess we go for legs then. Alright, mission complete. Are we gonna get out of here? And now, just run. Unless... Unless the enemies bring assault mechs now. I don't think we are getting offered any of them. Yet. Yet. So, I think I'm gonna waddle towards evac slowly. That's a victor. I mean, we probably want to stay and kill this. The victor is stuck. <laughs> okay, here comes the other guy. Enforcer, down, I say. Down, down, down. Phoenix are coming in. On the center. On the head, actually. I think we got him. Seth, it was a great snipe shot, so I'll take it. Alright. That guy is down. The Falcon, really? Against our firing line? That was almost too easy. Man, we got 300,000 seabills out of that. And I'm still looking for an assault mag. Not the Victor, obviously, because it's just an 80-tonner. And I don't I don't really like Victors. They have main firepower sitting in the right arm. Arm accuracy is nice. At the same time, it's also squishy. Fall, falls off very easily. And if you put a main weapon in that thing, you are busy repairing that thing all the time and refitting it all the time. So I'm going to give those guys another chance and then I'm going to go. Give me an Atlas. I would also totally take an Awesome because I have a bunch of PPCs lying around that I want to make use of. But so far, I didn't really get the parts for them. Or other priorities with bigger. Nobody's coming? Okay, so if nobody's here, as soon as I have arrived the evac zone, I'm gonna just step into it. That's the last chance now. Of course. Of course. Watch now. There's a dropship. What's it gonna be? I have to check it. I said I would, so I will. Let's go and try again. And as soon as I know what's up, then I'm just gonna go or I will engage. Helicopter. Coming in. Uh, yeah, it's a Hellcat. It's worth the... It's worth the effort. The Hellcat is a clan mech, obviously. Has clan tech, obviously. So we're gonna try to take him. Come at me, bro. It's also fast as hell. Now it's open. And this is also where we have to go, actually. Yeah. We're getting too much damage now. My my armor is getting relatively low. But hey, got some extra payout. I don't care about your MRMs, mister. I have so much AMS. Alright, I think you can have fun with whatever that is. It's a rifleman. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. I don't really care if they destroy them in time or not. I just want to get out of here now. Ah, I should wait. Good. That's another, I don't know, 50,000 C-bills? 70? Seems good. So, a bit of extra payout and a little bit of extra loot that we can take with us. Let's go. Good mission. It was slow and steady. But it won the race. It totally won the race. Okay, um, next up. I think I need to find another denser mission where we would face bigger targets. I think raids are good for that because the kill teams that they send to you are usually of a very good quality. Alright. So we have enough LBXs, we don't need them. I'm not sure about the XL. I think I want, if anything, I want a clan XL. Hellcat Prime. We started picking this thing for that exact reason. One, two, three. One more is missing. Victor, ERPPC, Black Knight. 
It's not a bad night, but I don't think I want to go there. Another Marauder. It's the... Hmm. This 3L. 3 Ballistic, 4 Energy. It's not bad. This is the classic one. God, I want that. Only has one Ballistic, though. Ooh. So it has less options. I don't like that. Clan Active Probe. We have three of them by now. We don't need them. Would be nice to have more, so everybody has that eventually. Auto Cannon 5 Burst Fire is a beautiful weapon. But no. Clan SRMs. Mm. More large lasers to upgrade them to tier 5, maybe. It's a good AMS as well. Spider. Medium lasers and medium pulse lasers. That's a tier 3 M impulse. I'll take that. Maybe even this one here. Yeah. LBX ammo. This is fine. This is good salvage. Okay. So, that's gonna be it. These are my picks. Let's keep going. So, our next stop is going to be in an industrial hub. Means... We gotta find one and then go there. Battleground? That thing is full of good mechs, but it could also break our neck. Easily. Battleground against clans? Um, what about, how about no? Wow. There's some crazy good stuff here. Garrison duty. Mmm, not really. Another battleground. Assassination. I could totally see myself running some battlegrounds. Also, assassination. Again, it's just for the clans, but... The payout could be good. The thing is, we, need, we don't need a lot anymore to get where we want to be. We just need that one specific part of a mech. So, I'll click the repair button now. Um, first of all, you though. Ow, 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 ow. Repair all. And then we're gonna take a look at what we can put in the mech. Uh, let me see. Do we have another proto double heat sink? We do not have that. Compact. Is it radical PDHS? Hell yeah. I'll take that. Rawr. I'll take two. That's a very good thing to have. Alright, so sensors, improved and sniper is here. I'll take the sniper. I don't need to, but I can. Fire control system missile. It's the only thing that matters right now. We got heat management support. We also don't need that necessarily. And yeah, we are under tonnage. We lost a bit of heat management, but our proto heatsink kit could be a radical proto heatsink kit. Uh, 59 days. Yeah, I think that's good. No actuator upgrades, sadly. Spike fist is here, cooling jacket is still here. Um, I'm gonna max the armor. Because we will be under tonnage anyway. There is one slot open and we had one... Um, what's it called? Uh, one proto heatsink in the center here. Which is not there anymore. It was in the engine that has now dropped and as soon as it's taken out, as soon as the repair time is done, I can put it into the, the head component or wherever I want. So I'll start the work like that. Oh boy. So I'm also taking a look at the party sign now. I mean, we bought it for a reason. Might as well take a look at that. And yeah, that's what I wondered. These medium expulses are tier one. We now found some pretty good regular medium pulse. Not axes, but pulses. They have 2.5 damage per second and 0.8 heat per second. This is 2.1 damage per second and 1.1 heat per second. 270 meters, 250 meters. I think this is worse now. Yes. It's obviously better. So higher tier weapons matter a lot. What was that? I want to get the other medium pulse in here. Regular mediums would also be very nice. I know. Well, let's go with the pulses. There we go. So, LRM-15. Do we have anything... ...of the clan variety that might help us out a bit more? Like an LRM-15 clan? It has a 20 tier 1. I don't think that's worth it. Uh, but maybe that's how we're gonna go. 
melee. Melee gyro. Gives us torso twist rate and turn speed. At the very least. Okay. Heat management support. Could probably use that. And then hot seat cockpit. We have TSM already. I think TSM is even more effective. It gives us 50% bonus speed and 100% melee damage at 100% heat level. This gives us 50% melee act uh, and 30% top speed modifier. Yeah, I think just getting hot and then running around like crazy is better than activating or deactivating it at will. Um, let's go with the TSM here. That seems like a build. What we don't have is any armor upgrades. We are completely relying on our Black Knight hero armor. Oh boy. I don't know if that is a good idea, but let's try. Okay. Let's do it! So everybody else, get prepared. And we are good to go. Oh, there's stuff here. <laughs> this is still the fire starter, I remembered. No, let's go to the battleground down here. Davion against Kurita, right? Exploration mission, but I'm gonna keep them. I'm not gonna use them right now. People said I should advance the timeline like crazy because then the exploration missions spawn some crazy, crazy stuff. Okay, small battle area. That means the, the waypoint to our next repair bay is short, which is good. Um, I could play the long range game here, but what I think I need is burst damage. Hmm. I want to try the Black Knight, but it is not... it's not tested yet. Let's take the Archer, because I know what I can expect from that guy. Jägermech is okay, Marauder is okay, Hellbringer is okay, I believe. Could take the Orion, but it's hard. It's taking a lot of... fire all the time. Alright, we gotta wait 50 days. It's worth it. I think it is worth it. And now we have to pay... Yes, I'll get the ransom. I'll pay the ransom. We recovered our pilot, but it came with a cost. <laughs> All righty then. Also, I think I need Shay to be... be in another energy guy. So where do I put him? On the Marauder, I guess, huh? She already has some affinity with it. Ah, it's hard. Ah, let's go with this. It doesn't matter too much. Let's do it. It's also nice to get some missile proficiency, and more importantly, he has a very high cap on shielding. I want to be defensive, so we gotta learn how to absorb damage with that guy, and it's good to have a brawler to, you know, do that as a training vehicle. So the goal is to eliminate all hostiles. We are still looking for something like a mask or a supercharger for the Black Knight. Ideally a supercharger, because it only takes one slot instead of the mask, which is like two or three. Or maybe even more. I'm rarely using it, so I don't actually know. Yeah. Let's go. We're gonna orient ourselves a little bit more to the repair base. We have assault max. This is a stone rhino. Oh, here we go. That's nasty as hell. That's a vulture. Okay, 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 okay. Should dive into the big, into the thick of the fight. Adamoto Chi. Yeah, I want these dudes. We're gonna stay out of the fight for the moment, although I think it's the a wrong choice. Why are you just standing there, huh? I'm gonna make you fall. Should be a kill. Okay, we got that guy. Next up, Timberwolf. This is a crazy fight with some clan technology on the board. Oh my god. Sun, look at that. Fiery ball of death. Um, we need 400 meters, so let's, let's wait it out. 500. 400. Now. Easy. Cool. Black Knight is next. But also this. Good. Keep going, keep blasting. Where the hell did the Stone Rhino go? Stalker. Oh, Haramoto. 
Um, it seems like... Uh oh, there's a second wave coming now. And it also seems like um, our friends are getting overpowered. Uh-huh. That's a regular Phoenix Hawk. Also, my head. My beautiful, beautiful face. Good. Uh, we have a victor. We almost, almost have the victor. Yeah, so the next reinforcement waves are coming in. It's the Stone Rhino again. Let's go for the Thug and orient ourselves towards the repair bay. Oh god, oh god, that's so much. And we have no range. I'll take the Rhino now. As our next big target. Trying to not get hit too much. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go in here now. We took a lot of center torso damage. For the next engagement, I need to be fresh. So, let's see. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Stocking up on ammo and perfect pristine armor. Let's go. Sorry. A Banshee? Let's do that. Maybe I should go for Irby, Urban Lord. Has a very nasty rock. I think I want to go for Lag specifically here. So we break our own lock in order to direct the damage where I need it to be. Another treasure. Rock crit. Very nice. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look at all of these fools. I am their center of attention. As I should be. Uh, do we have another bay? Oh yeah, there's one. Probably want to lure them in. There's another stone freaking rhino. Yeah, let's take him. Man, the sun is so blinding, which is actually nice. It's a nice touch. Because it really matters. The, the biome matters now for the player, not only for salvage reasons. Good. Uh, I don't think we're gonna get into the repair bay anymore. That's the last enemy. Um, yeah. Don't have the time for it. It's okay, though. So, Jägermeck got hit. Oh, but, you know, armor is okay. Armor is absolutely fine. I think, my friends, we will build a stone rhino now because we will totally get the last part for it and then we have our first 100 toner on the battlefield and what a beauty it is so hyper laser hyper hyper um i want the stone rhino if it is available clan erp banshee there it is stone rhino prime i'll take that thank you we have a lot of picks here as well one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four. Ah! What's better than a stone rhino, huh? Two stone rhinos! I'm totally picking those. Timber Wolf would also be nice, I guess. Thug, Victor, Hadamoto. ERPPC, Stalker. Stalker would be a nice addition as well. Question is how many parts of the other variants do we have already? I don't know. Urban Lord is okay. Mad Dog is okay. So, Patchwork Tier 2. No, not really. Medium Pulse Laser Clan. Could be good. Is good. It's definitely better than our regular Medium Pulse Laser. And it, yeah, it has more range. About the same damage and about the same heat. I think I want it. We're gonna make that pulse thing happen. LRM clan. Gauss ammo. We have five picks. So what would we take here? Machine gun ammo. Hey, hooray. Uh, yeah, but I think I'm gonna take the hyper laser then. Why not? Let's go. Cool. 3,000 damage done. And yeah, our payout was great. And it is time, guys. It is absolutely time. Let's go ahead and build our stone rhino 751,000 and this is what it looks like it's borkin completely borkin well 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 
But anyway, the cool thing is, uh, we have nice shoulder ballistic hard points, and we have some some energy hard points only. Hmm. All right. But here's the thing: it is uh, structure repair cost is lower by twenty five percent. We have a sensor range bonus of 200 meters. It is a clan max, so we get 6.7% top speed modifier, 10% turn and acceleration, as well as 20% more upkeep. Then it has the quirks. Jump jets, initial thrust, 15%. Jump jet burn time and jump jet heat, uh, also better. And then ballistic cooldown modifier, negative 20%. Oh, yeah. Energy cooldown modifier, negative 20%. Energy heat generation, negative 5%. Missile spread, negative 10. Missile cooldown, negative 10. We don't have missile hard points. But the energy and ballistic thing is going to be really good. And then we have lots of armor and structure bonuses. This thing is sturdy as hell. I cannot wait, guys. I cannot wait. Um, but yeah, I would say we're going to start the next episode by building this bad boy. And <gasps> finally, we can make the rock build happen. Finally, we can make the double hyper assault gauss build happen. We have so many options with this guy. But... I need to think of it, and we're gonna see each other next time. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in the next episode of Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries.